nice Monday morning. The birds are chirping. I wake up and I check the group chat and I see this. It was CN 3115. And me and my good friend, Marvel in History, we're already gonna go up to Julie at the Royal Fan, so we decided to chase it. So here we see it speeding past Shadance, Illinois. And basically, right after the power passed, we sprinted back to the car to keep chasing. And then, we get some pacing action of it. Then we catch it one last time in Gilman, Illinois before we call off the chase. And then on our way into Juliet, we see this barge going under a lift bridge, which is pretty cool. Lots of status over here. Oh, hot as fuck. And my water, man. My water, it's warm. That is tragic. I'm making ice cubes, but... I'm making ice. How many of you have in there? I don't know. She has like a cup or something you can put it in. And it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just spilled my shake, bro. <laughs> don't be feeling with me, brother. Don't you rape yourself with the black balls over there. What the hell are you talking about? Then we see this metro pull into the station. We aren't from around the area, so we don't really know how the metro operation to go. So we expected it to come forward, but unfortunately it did not. Then shortly after, we see this BNSF intermodal coming past us. A little bit after that passed, we see this metro pulling into the station.
Then to wrap things up in Juliet, we see this metro train pulling into the other side of the station, while the other one we just saw reverses to head back to Chicago. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm trying to film a damn video. Shut the fuck up! Oh, you don't know what 210 is, do you? Right now, 210 is a unit where some lady thinks she's married to it. Huh? A, some lady thinks she's married to fucking Metro 210. Yeah, yeah conductor! Yeah, conductor. Then when we're heading back home, I get a notification on Messenger, and this is what I see. Whoa! So you know what that means. It's chase time. And as it was a hot shit intermodal, we only got to catch it a few times before it outran us. You're thinking about how you're going to get those 700 back. And the question I would ask, and I'm going to ask every railroad, now that we've been through this, have you figured out that going from 11,000 to 8,000 may not have been a good business operating plan? And I don't talk about PSR. I know that labor folks do and other folks do, and it has good aspects and bad aspects. I don't hear an operating plan for railroads. 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 I